Good morning, everybody. Johnny Jans here once again, bringing you all the different Disney World resorts from the value to the deluxe and everywhere in between. And today we took another stroll deeper down the bayou where I am at Disney's Port Orleans Riverside Resort. So we're going to check this nice, relaxing atmosphere, old timey river type resort along the river. I said river a lot, but anyway, let's get to it, get inside and do some hand ring around and here we are at the bridge around the bend which marks the official end of Port Orleans French Quarter and the start of Port Orleans Riverside and you can already tell by the different flair of the bridge style it's like we're going out to the bayou areas of uh, New Orleans and not so much the party atmosphere so fun transition. You get the best of both worlds when you stay out here. Hey, hey, <laughs> Hannah on. Montana would be proud. <laughs> cool. Right here along the banks, once again, our transportation for this resort is gonna be on the Sasagula Steamboat on the Sasagula River, right in front of the plantation houses. And there are the people, that's awesome. Good shot. Not only does the resort transition into more of a Cajun bayou feel, look at the trees that they grew here. They're vastly different from what you're going to see over on the other side at French Quarter. Here we are on the outside of the Porcashier. This is the main entrance to Port Orleans Riverside. And look how cool it is. Already you're getting a very different vibe than you saw over at the French Quarter Port Orleans side. This is a laid back country atmosphere. And I think it's going to be a nice place to go around and just relax. And look, the doors magically open here. Talk about Southern hospitality, right? <laughs> Especially when you push the button. Yeah, so we're stepping in to a very relaxing and different atmosphere. It's like I'm in a country home or something or a nice warm plantation house. And you got a very large check-in area complete with these fun stools that seem to go around so you can sit all behind each other and such. But let's see what we got. Here is the whole, this is the front desk area. This is even bigger than I thought. Wow, it's like a mansion in here. A lot more places to sit. Very elegant, very extravagant. Check out the chandelier. Also, check out the Mickeys that are lining the architecture awnings at the top too. Nice little way to incorporate a little Disney flair for you. This is the biggest fan that's ever fanned before. Definitely a fan of this fan. This is weird. What is that? It just sways from side to side. Very slow, so not, not really fanning off the air. It's just a moving piece of architecture. Oh, it's a bell. That's what I think they're going for. I think they're going for the bells at the top of the mansion ringing, kind of welcoming us home here, right? Making my way away from the front desk area. We're still inside the mansion. And it looks like on the other side of the house here, we've got the Fulton's General Store, which is the gift shop where you can get all your Disney merch and fun things like that. And it looks very peaceful, very cozy in there making my way around the shop right now. It is bigger than it was at French Quarter, so there is a lot more to offer, a lot more things you can get. But check out who's working the steam pipes here. We got Goofy, complete with soot on the nose. And this Mickey's children seems to be helping them stoke the fire. It's like, as usual, Goofy's having trouble with this. He has trouble a lot. But that's, that's kind of cool to get a little animatronic. In a gift shop i don't i've never seen any animatronics in any gift shops yet so as far as i know this might be the only one if you want to relax we got a little bar here called the river roost where you can pull up a perch take a load off and then down this hallway it looks like the food and drink are here how do i know lucky guess going down the hallway of the mansion right now there's more of the river roost back there. Very classy. I like the windows. It's like a building within a building. Kind of cool. And here we are at one of 
the Riverside Signature Dining Location, only signature dining location, Boatwright's Dining Hall, where they're actually constructing a boat that they're gonna use on the Sasagula River one day. So you can eat and see the production of boat and also what lines the walls are all these boat making tools that are actually used to make boats. How fun. See, one day they'll finish that boat and take it on the river, but they haven't yet because every time they try, they get distracted by all the good food. And welcome to the quick service area here where they have lots of different meals. I don't even know what this place is called. Oh, it's called the Riverside Mill. Hence the giant barn. It's like we stepped into a barn right here. But one of the coolest things about this area is you see this contraption that's spinning up there? That is actually part of a working and fully operational windmill that you can see coming into view of the window right here. We'll take a look at that on the outside in a little bit, but that is awesome. So not only can you eat in this wonderful place, I like to eat right over here by the windmill and I can look out the window and watch the water wheel. Isn't that cool? Water wheel, it's not a windmill. It's a fully operational water wheel. I don't know why I called it a windmill, but here's a look through the window of the water as it's getting scooped up. Isn't that amazing? Again, we'll look at that a little bit outside. Stepping outside right now, off the literal back porch of the mansion, we are just on the docks of where the Sasagula River and the Sasagula Steamboats board, right over there. So let's go see what the outside of this resort has to offer, but a very dockside feel to it. There we got the entrance to Boat Rides, to Boat Rides Dining Hall. Looks massive and those doors need to be. And as you can see, the doors are actually had the props on the side so that they could open to fit the boat in. So you can bring the boat right off this dock here. They would lower that bridge and they'd wheel the boats in to work on them for Boat Rides Dining Hall, you know, hypothetical. Right out here too is the entrance to the River Roost. And just like we saw over at the French Quarter, the buildings itself, the way the theming sticks out, they have their own entrances and exits like on the outside, which is cool. So there's the river roost right there. You, if you want to go specifically there, you could enter right through that door. Or if you want to go to the front desk, you know, that's a whole separate building. And then of course you have the boat rights. Isn't that neat? I love that, that tension to detail. They didn't have to do it. And there's the Riverside Mill, which is the quick service area. Okay, so looking at this archway, if by my logic, if I walk under that, am I walking through Memphis? Here is the water wheel. And this is awesome. This is probably my favorite thing here at Riverside to look at. It's cool that you can actually eat next to it. You can see its inner workings and it's a real water wheel. Something that I don't feel like Disney would make again today. That is awesome that the Imagineers took the time to add this giant water wheel to the side of the restaurant, the Riverside Mill. That is cool. Look at the power of water. Moana, eat your heart out. That's the real way of water right there, kids. And there's the view of the boats at the dock right in front. And this is where you, the furthest you can travel down the Sasagula River is here at Riverside. So if you're over at Disney Springs, you wanna look for the yellow flag when you're at the right dock. And that way, you know, you get back to Disney's Port Orleans Resorts and then French Quarter or Riverside beyond there. We are on one of these fun bridges now, old timey bridges, and we are going to Old Man Island. That is where the feature pool is located here at Riverside. It's kind of cool. It's on, a, it's on an island. And this is a very fun pool because they have a lot of cool water features that are meandering around where the slides are in the pool area. A lot of wooden structures too. Here's the official sign so you know. Old Man Island made out, oh not old, old Man Island because we're in the south. 
Check it out, there's a legend of the old man and his island. You could read the story. Something unique for a pool deck, this is the first sighting of a hammock that we've seen. So you can actually, instead of the lounge poolside chairs, crawl into a hammock and see if you can get yourself out of it. I know I have trouble. <laughs> you can see over yonder, there's a rock work in the middle of the pool. There's fun water features. Really helps. There's rock and music on the side of me right now. And just beyond that house there is where the slide is. You have a water tower shower. You'd go under there and the water above the bucket is just gonna dump on you. But it's just a shower. But it looks really cool. <laughs> More look at the water feature of the pool deck. I love that. And then their pool bar is awesome. Welcome to the Muddy Rivers where you could get your drinks and they even have some food choices while you hang around the pool. That's awesome. And just beyond the fence here, we have a playground and it's an epic playground for a moderate level resort too. That's probably one of the biggest I've seen so far. Very nice, very well gated. Here's something unique, especially to a moderate level resort. They actually have a fishing hole here where you can fish in the Sasagula River. And it's respectively called the fishing hole. <laughs> Fish in, because it's Southern, fits the theme. And look, you go down to the dock there and you can go back here and you can actually fish and rent some poles. It's really awesome. Or you could just come down here to get a good view of the dock, which is what I'm gonna do. That guy's fishing. He's having a good time. Maybe he'll catch something. I think it's all uh, catch and release. It's not like you're gonna fish your dinner out of here. Look, he got a fish. That's awesome. See how easy it is? <laughs> you too could get a fish. That's amazing. Wow. Yeah, it's the best way to kill time. Exactly. Down at the old fishing hole. So this is a very unique thing, especially to a moderate level resort. You're not gonna find this at any of the other resorts. All right, so now we're going a little bit further back of the resort riverside and we're in the bayou area. Thus is the kind of building style that you'll probably see along the Louisiana bayous. And uh, nice rooms. Everything's not too far from the main area. At least they have bridges to connecting. Because otherwise, I guess if your room's out here, you're going to feel like you're pretty far from everything. But it's not that bad of a walk to get from the bayou. And if you just cross Old Man Island, you're going to be all right. So just off the ways of the walk that was the alligator bayou, we come to the quiet pool. And you can see it's very quiet, especially right now. It's funny, they got this little peninsula in the middle. It makes you think something used to be there. But I don't think anything ever was there. But it looks like maybe a fountain. You know what I'd like to do? I like to take my chair and just like put it right there in the middle. And then the kids can just swim around. The thing I'm pretty impressed with is I got to the back here and look at all the woods. It definitely feels like you're in the swamps now. There's a big section of woods and there's this trail that I'm on right now that supposedly leads to a bus stop. But I'm gonna follow it anyway because it's kind of cutting through the woods and I love me some woods. And what was a nice scenic walk through the woods concludes here at the bus stop. I will have to turn around. Oh, I don't. Oh my gosh. That's exciting. It goes around so I can continue going forward, which is what I like to do. But here's the bus. So you're going to have to catch one of these buses adjacent to your room if you want to go anywhere else in the Walt Disney World. Have the TV screen to tell you exactly where the buses are coming and stuff. So that's nice. Not all resorts have that. So good, I can continue on. I, this is not a dead end. And I can go back into the bayou. And here we are still in the bayou, but reach pool number two. And it looks just like pool number one. It actually has a smaller peninsula though. Notice there's pool tiling on the side? There is fun tiling to be noticed on the side. It, it looks very swamp-like. Look, there's an alligator in the pool. <laughs> and just like that, we've left the bayou and we entered the plantation style houses on the river's bend. And caution, you're about to climb some stairs. 
But the thing that's different between these places and the bayou, these actually have elevators to your room so you don't have to lug your luggage up all those stairs. But if you're staying in the bayou, you're not gonna have an elevator. So another reason I'd probably want to stay in here versus the bayou area. And look at that right outside the staircase here. You can see the river bend and just beyond the river bend is the front desk area in Old Man Island, not Pocahontas. There's a look at the elevators inside the building, but here's one of my favorite things. Check it out, it's a fountain. Mm -hmm. The friends be jealous. Look, that's a nice one. It's like a little pot in the middle, bubbling, a bowl. I feel like the fountain should be against the river and not against the parking lot theme, but it is a nice spacious fountain and you can sit by it. And it's got those fancy horse rails that we even saw back at the French Quarter. So there we go. Riverside is not without a fountain. They're just in front of the fancy houses. Here we are at pool number three, and it's a fancy pool in front of the fancy rooms here. It's pretty big too. It's very wide and it's got lots of cool seating and a little bit of shade under that awning over there. All right, here is the Johnny Jan spot that I would stay here at Porter Lands Riverside. This is the Oak Manor places, a little different than the Magnolian houses. Not as white, these have a brick background, but I would definitely stay over here because as you can see up there, there's a bridge that you would cross and you go right across the way to the check-in area and boat rights and the dock. So that is my favorite spot to stay if I'm staying over here at Riverside. And welcome to quiet pool number four at the Oak Manor. It's got that brick background over at the laundry area there. Other than that, it's pretty much the same size as we saw over the Mongoli Man Mongolian one. What it? Magnolian ones. <laughs> pretty much the same, but again, this is where I'm going to hang out the most is probably the Oak Manor. This is my kind of room for Riverside. This is a nice fountain. It's got a good arch of water going on and it's blue, very pretty and long. I like it. This is weird, but you have a throne at the end of the long lawn way over by the fountain right now. Why is this here? I don't know, but I kind of want to sit on it too. Oh yes, this is fitting. It's good to be king. Well, there it is, folks. A look at Disney's Port Orleans Riverside. A bit more relaxing to the hustle and bustle of the French Quarter. But overall, a great place. Good place to get stuff to eat over at the boat rights. I like the differences between the bayou and the Magnolia sections. And I think I would definitely want to stay here right along the river. And then maybe jump on the Sasaguli Steamboat, go up to Disney Springs. But that's going to do it for me. Until next time, I'm Johnny Jans. And as always, I'll catch you out there. Walking through Memphis. <laughs> Hand ring around. All right, Ringo over here thinks this is a slide. I'm telling you, it's not a slide. This is what you don't want to do. Uh, that went off well. You only messed up the glasses. <laughs>